started with some breaking news. We'll show you the scene outside the Polish embassy in Tokyo, where reports say the Belarusian sprinter Kristina Siminovskaya may be on her way there. We know Poland had offered her uh, some sort of sanctuary. This comes after the police in Japan and the International Olympic Committee are now protecting her. She claims her team tried to remove her from Japan against her consent. She'd voiced some concern about what her coaches were doing. She'd done that on Instagram. And, of course, you may remember the, the, the huge problems there are in Belarus at the moment, that disputed election last year, and now the brother of the president is head of the Belarusian Olympic Committee. So the real concern she has in, in being forced to return to Minsk. Let's get the latest from Tom Parmenter, who's in Tokyo for us this morning. Uh, and the fact this is moving quite quickly now, Tom... Yeah, as far as we understand it, she is still at the international airport here in Tokyo, Haneda Airport. And it's been quite a 24 hours, really, for this sprinter who should be competing in the 200-metre event in the athletic stadium, but instead is at the airport, having been dragged out of the competition by her coaches, she says, against her will. And uh, she says that... That's because she spoke out on her Instagram account and was quite critical of her coaches and said that they were negligent. Uh, she's clearly in a position of being quite scared and vulnerable and just very unsure that she wants to go back to Minsk and therefore what happens next? That is the big question. The Olympic organisers have someone with her. Uh, they say that she is safe and secure and spent the night at an airport hotel as they try to work out what is the best path forward. The Polish foreign minister, as you said, the uh, Polish embassy is on alert really to see whether or not she will go there in Tokyo as her next move. Uh, the Polish foreign minister said that she was offered a humanitarian visa and is free to pursue her sporting career in Poland if she so chooses. So we'll watch that situation very carefully and bring you the very latest through the rest of the morning.